welcome back to Ori and the Blind Forest. So we got dropped off in the Goombo's hideout, and we gotta find a way to get back to him, because he's got a thing we need. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's a rude opening to the yeah, video. Yeah, don't, don't you hate... Yeah, like, don't, don't you hate it when... A, don't you hate it when, like, some weird spider thing just comes up and takes your shit? Yes, uh, yeah. Well, like, seriously. It's like, I'm getting some, uh, Marble Zone flashbacks here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I get it. I get it. Oh, I get it. no. <laughs> yeah. I no, cannot that, that unsee that hard. anymore. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that segment's not hard to go through. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, and I say that as somebody who unironically actually likes Marble Zone. Yeah, I like, I like Marble Zone. It's like, I see so many people online, like, even, like, you know, where people talk about, like, you know, favorite, least favorite Sonic 1 levels. And it's like, of course, everybody unanimously unanimously agrees uh, Labyrinth Zone can suck a dick. But yeah. a lot of people say, like, yeah, they don't like Marble Zone. And I'm like, I like Marble Zone. I, mean, I, I think I, it's I hear just some people say they I, don't like Scrap Brain Zone. I, I know, um, at least from some people's perspectives, is that I know that they don't exactly like Marble Zone, mainly because it's a weird contrast for, you know, the the, the straightforward, fast-paced action that came with Green Hill Zone, and then suddenly you have this much slower platforming segment that you have to yeah. go through. Yeah. It's almost but as you know, I, I can understand that. No, I can understand that, but even then, I, I don't think Marble Zone is bad. Oh. Death. Then again, anything's better than Labyrinth Zone. Yeah. Yeah, that's where it's like, you know, yeah, like I said, like, you know, like, Labyrinth Zone can eat a dick. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, with, bo with both levels, it's like, yeah, freaking, it's like, they both fall under the same issue in a way, where it's like, there's like, most if not some of the, s the segments in those levels, they make the character go a bit too slow, when it's about a character that's supposed to be the fastest thing alive. That's what a lot of that's what a lot of people expect out of a Sonic game to you know just go fast, and if you have a level yeah. that pretty much diminishes that, then they're gonna have some problems with it, and Marble Zone being no exception to that. Uh, by the way, this is not a boss. Before you get that in, uh, that in your mind. Oh, I know. It was a mini boss. Nope, not even a boss. That's actually just going to be a... That's actually just going to be an enemy that pops up here and there. Oh, so there's more than one, Kuma. Uh, well, more so... No, more so more than one of that thing that was jumping out of the ground and spitting things at us. Oh. Okay, I must have missed that part of that case. Oh, okay. I guess... Yeah, it's like, yeah, Gumo, uh, yeah, yeah. Gumo cartwheeled away like a motherfucker. Yeah, that is like, you know, hey, uh, there's a guy chasing me, you wanna get him? And yeah, that was the thing we were fighting. That's not a boss. Actually, funny enough, Ori in the Blind Forest has no boss fights. Hmm. I'm surpri kind of surprised by that, honestly. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, so Ori doesn't fight off against that freaking owl? Uh, yeah, we actually have a, they actually have a different way of handling that fight, but we'll get to that when we get to it. Okay. So, Fuck. So let's, <laughs> Not so that we're way. still gonna, so we're still gonna fight the evil owl, who sucked the life out of this forest, but is not considered a boss fight. Yeah, like, again, you'll see how, th you'll see how it gets handled. Which actually, it's funny because in in uh, I know for like Will the Wisp, you know, a, it was a common joke that people made where it's like, oh my god, I can't believe Ori added boss fights. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Oh, so with this tree, I take it we'll be able to explore to other parts of the area. Uh, yep. So with this, we are getting ourselves the brand new ability, Double Jump. Hey. 
Now, this double jump is rather interesting because you don't get a lot of height with it, but, like, at, yeah, as you'll see there, we don't really get a lot of height, but the horizontal distance is what makes this good. It's like, oh, I need more life! Yeah, I just, yeah, I decided to pick it up just to be safe because it's like, you know... I expect it to take a lot of da I expect to take quite a bit of damage throughout this playthrough, so let's make sure when I pick up health, I restore a lot. He's like, hey, I saw you, Guma. <laughs> Don't you be running away from me again. Yeah, uh, it's actually Gumo. Gumo. Guma, Gumo. Gu <laughs> tomato, tomato. <Gu> <laughs> Tomatoes or tomatoes. Yeah, that nice. That's nice, buddy. <laughs> but yeah, like as he's like uh, with access to this double jump, there are a lot more different platform maneuvers that we can do now. Like such as like we can like wall jump from one wall to another one. We can make we can do like certain shortcuts with to, with uh, timing our jumps. We can run into spikes die. and die. That's like yeah. That's like oh. I noticed. <laughs> we can do it again. Yeah, that's like yeah. There's like no there's like no recovery. I mean, it's like, you literally get hit, and then it's like... It's like, yeah, you don't get, like, any, like, invincibility frames or anything. It's just, nah, just don't, just don't touch anything. Yeah, but it's also, like, at that instance there, it was, it does showcase that the double jump doesn't really, yeah, it doesn't get a lot of height. Like, you primarily use it for horizontal reach. Okay. Oh, well, thank God yeah. that they're gonna implement, a, like, a triple jump later in the game. Oh, God, the triple jump is godlike. I love that thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now we can save the game more often. Okay. And another thing that I also um, was not looking forward to coming back to this game was the fact that. Uh, the climb ability is not obtainable till a bit later in the game because we'll eventually get an ability where we don't just have to keep jumping on the wall, we can just cling to it like Spider-Man. Nice. <laughs> Out of my way. I want to save my game. I want to save my progress before I screw myself over again. Is that too much to ask? God. Or he does not like, or he doesn't like quarters confirmed. <laughs> it's like you, you doing okay there, buddy? Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely me just you know trying to like get back on the path of like okay, where exactly was I supposed to go? But it's like okay, yeah, that's right. And, and the self-destruction achievement pops up. <laughs> wait, 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 wait a second. Was, so that, was that from was that from what ha was that was that supposed to be an achievement that was supposed to pop up when you died like twice in a row? No. From spikes? Okay. No. Okay. So what happened? So to get the self-destruct achievement, you have to have an enemy kill themselves. Oh. Uh, okay. So that frog enemy probably respawned, and because the frog enemy is programmed to constantly chase Ori regardless where he is on the screen, and t she probably chased him into some spikes and died. <laughs> yeah, I was about to. Yeah, I was about to say like if that was the case, then it's like I'm surprised that achievement didn't pop up like during part one when you and when you and seen like you know literally like like had had that frog follow you and had the frog jump onto that fragile bridge <laughs> and here i and here i was thinking it was like oh that was that was like oh self-destruction because you died once too many times in the spikes i thought it was like a delayed achievement or something yeah. <laughs> listen frank is very new here <laughs> Climbing all over the place, but you know what? We can do that too, buddy. Like a like a spider. Yeah, Ow! Like, Ow! Yeah, it's like yeah, challenge accepted. Hmm. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> challenge failed. <laughs> <laughs> Ch 
<laughs> Challenge accepted. <laughs> it's, it's that, uh, it's that, okay, uh, Gubo, that last one didn't count. Here's a real run. Yeah, it's like, it's like, that was a you warm up. You suck! <laughs> Bro, you stink! <laughs> ah, see, made it. <laughs> see, that, that first time that ever happened. But yeah, Ryan, you were talking about, like, a uh, Rayman Origins vibes. Yeah, how about that? Yeah, that is some, that is some Rayman shit right there. What, yeah. what, 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 that enemy? No, no, uh, the parkouring that you oh, had to go through. Yeah. Oh, yeah, That's, yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, speaking of, this is where, yeah, this is, again, where we see the true function of the double jump there. So, you'd think, like, okay, so I'm gonna try to jump onto those and try to jump on there, but no, what the game wants you to do, it wants you to go for the second one first, and then double jump on the one below you, uh, the one on your left, and then double jump to the last one so you can make it over. <laughs> Come get me, Ori. Yeah, we're 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 just gonna make ourselves a nice little uh, easy access point up there. <laughs> and uh, also, yeah, Gumo, BRB. I'm gonna I'm just gonna check out some other stuff. Yeah, he's like, why do we even have that lever? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Gumo. Why did you put it there? <laughs> it uh, it seemed like it seemed like a good idea at the time. You know, you joke, but I'm now actually imagining Guma with that kind of voice. <laughs> hey, Yori, uh, hope you don't mind. I'm gonna take your light. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh! <laughs> My legs! Uh, so, yeah, he's stuck under a rock. <laughs> Let him rot. <laughs> Dumbass. Oh, <laughs> Why? He, he's, this bastard's just stealing our energy cell like a jackass, so it's like, he, well, he uh, actually, had it no, that's not, that, that was not an energy cell. Well, because of us, he's taking our stuff. Yeah. You know what they say, karma is a bitch. No, I, 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 I understand that. However. Yeah, uh, ha yeah, ha however, uh, let, let's just get to him. Yeah. Because, yeah, he, he's not going anywhere. He's stuck. It's like, okay, okay, so Ori has him just right where he wants him. So that yeah. scene could just fit can, him can, can Ori pull the Matarasu and just pee on him? <laughs> oh. Okay. No! Uh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Just to add insult to and, injury. And look at that. Ori actually helps him. Yeah, okay. All right, joke, jokes aside. No, I had a feeling that's where th th this part was going to because like yeah knowing knowing an innocent soul like ori it's like i don't think ori would stoop down yeah. to this guy's yeah, level see, yeah see there it goes you get he gave it back to us yeah there we go yeah see gumo's actually a chad see. He, he is okay all right real talk um i know this that word has been thrown around a lot now, it could just be because I am very, very slow with this sort of stuff, but I have to ask, wh what exactly is a chat? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? That's a good thing. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh wait, what? Sorry, I think... It's, I... A, it's a good thing. Oh, okay. It's like, it's no different from, like, referring to someone as, like, hey, that's my guy. Also, enjoy the pause screen. And yes, it did say I died 20 times. <laughs> oh, Oh. Hey, 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 no, that, hey, that, 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 that's not bad. Yeah, this game keeps track of how many times you die. Just like oh, Cuphead. Oh, it's not just like Cuphead. Just like Cuphead. <laughs> is, there an, is there an achievement that you can unlock for dying a certain amount of times? No, there isn't. Dang. There, there, is, there is, there is, yeah, there is an achievement for beating the game on one life difficulty, though. Oh, well, well, yeah, I well, figured I, well. I would certainly hope so. Yeah, but I mean, there's that's no one hell of an achievement right yeah. there. But there's no achievement. <laughs> but you don't get an achievement for oh, you died one thousand times in this game. Yeah, no, there isn't. Yeah, but yeah, th this is why you needed the double jump so you can actually use the momentum to get to those other pegs and just wall cling to them. So yeah, that yes, yeah, like seriously, that would be a real. Dick move, where they don't even implement an achievement 
for being the game on one life mode. It's like, you beat to tell me I went, you beat to tell me I spent hours upon hours, days upon days, trying to beat this mode, and I get nothing for it. What in God's yeah, get... name is your damage? Yeah, you get bragging rights. <laughs> That's not enough. <laughs> I expect some compensation for my Steam profile, please. <laughs> Listen, I need to- I need to show people how big my dick really is! Seriously, I require 100- no, 500 gamer score! But, um, yeah, to go into a bit of Gumo for a moment, because it- it- Because, yeah, it is gonna be a while till we do, uh, get to that point where it does talk to us about it, but we do get a bit of insight on why exactly Gumo was giving into the darkness for a moment. He's actually distra- he actually is a bit distraught due to him being the last of his kind. Ah, uh, I- uh, understandable. Yeah, but, you know, with that said, uh, tune in for next time on Ori in the Blind Forest as we finally make it through the dreaded Ginzo Tree. The dreaded Ginzo Tree? Yeah. We, you'll see what I mean when we get there. See you guys then. Oh, no.